Hi, good evening. The Plaid Cymru leader, Leanne Wood, says her party would vote against a Labour budget if it inflicted cuts on the poorest in society. Labour has accused her of siding with the Conservatives and of putting further funding for Wales at risk. They're haggling, and so are the politicians, about doing business with each other in a hung parliament. Clyde says Labour can't take its support for granted. If all they come up with after this election is more cuts, more austerity, then we will have to vote that down because that is what we have stood in this election on a platform of, and that is our number one top priority. Labour would shave public spending, but the party insisted today the Welsh budget would grow under Ed Miliband. Increase the wages of the poorest people in this country, ban zero hours contracts, put higher taxes on millionaires. That's what Labour wants to do. I thought Plyde would support that. But extraordinarily, it appears that Leanne's saying that they would actually vote with the Tories in order to do down a Labour government. The Lib Dems want to bridge the political divide, but say other parties won't match their pledge to scrap the seven bridge tolls. It would boost the economy of South Wales by £107 million if we got rid of the tolls. And we think that is something that's definitely worth investing in. So we see more investment and more jobs in South Wales. The Conservatives promised they'd protect pensioners' incomes today. But Labour says the Tories would threaten child benefit. Well, they would say that, wouldn't they? But, you know, the Prime Minister has been very clear uh, we aren't. And I think uh, I'm prepared to agree with the Prime Minister rather than with Labour. We have to remember that by having a balanced and a good, strong economy, we can look after our pensioners who've done so much over the years for this country. UKIP boasts they won't follow the pack on immigration. But during a BBC Radio Wales debate, they were accused of scaremongering. It's a big issue for people. The other three parties are trying to pretend it's not an issue. But it is for the ordinary person. So it's not scaremongering. It's just talk, engaging with the truth, actually. Elections. Sometimes it can be difficult to decipher. You've seen what's on offer. On Thursday, you take your pick.